Hello, my little goblins. Guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay, and today we have a very lovely Nightworms unboxing, and it's backwards. There's the Nightworms logo. I am very excited because this is the October package, and we know that our friends at Nightworms love some spooks, right? It's a horror monthly book subscription box, and it is the month for horror, am I right? I'm right. Let's just get into this package because I am very excited to open this. Okay, so first thing that I see is, look, two books. Guys, I can't remember if they told us that we were getting two books, but I am thoroughly surprised. If they did tell us, I forgot. So let's just start with the books. So the first book is, ooh, The Cypher by Catherine, oh, Kathy Koha. Koja? Koha. I don't know. J's always mess me up when it comes to last names. I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay, so let me just read this um, synopsis to you. Um, okay, so quote, black, pure black, and the sense of pulsation, especially when you look at it too closely, the sense of something not living but alive, unquote. When a strange hole materializes in a room, would-be poet Nicholas and his feral lover Nakoda allow their curiosity to lead them into the depths of terror? Quote, wouldn't it be wild to go down there? Unquote, says Nakoda. Nicholas says, we're not. But no one is in control, and their experiments lead to obsession, violence, and very final transformation, and a very final transformation for everyone who gets too close to the fun hole. Home? Am I 12 or am I the only person who like their mind went there because I feel like you can't dub something the fun hole and your mind not go there. Um, okay, well, she won the Bram Stoker Award, so I'm sure it's going to be good. I don't necessarily understand what this will be about, but I'm very intrigued. So if you're gonna intrigue me, if you're trying to catch me on pure confusion and, you know, mystery, you did it. So I'm interested to get into the cipher, because who doesn't want to read about fun holes? <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the next book. So, ooh, The Loop by Jeremy Robert Johnson. Now, I know nothing about this book except that it has a very cool cover and I've seen it around. So let's read the synopsis. Stranger Things meets World War Z in Jeremy Robert Johnson's The Loop, a conspiracy thriller set in a sleepy tourist town in the Pacific Northwest that also happens to be home to a biotech firm. When Turner Falls is ravaged by an inexplicable outbreak that causes the infected to be overcome by fits of rage, a group of local misfits struggle to survive the night and expose the corporate corruption that destroyed their home. Wow, that sounds fantastic. Guys, I don't know if you know, but I'm not a giant um, zombie person. Uh, I know everyone in the horror community is like, boo. But I just, I just, I have my, I'll get into that in another video. But they kind of lost me at World War Z, but it sounds very much more like Stranger Things vibes. I imagine it's probably going to be some sort of zombie, like, things in here, but I can handle it because this sounds super freaking cool. I like it when like experiments go wrong. I like those like sort of tropes. For some reason I don't like when it turns into zombies, but I don't know, I, that's just me. I am very excited and look how beautiful this cover is. I can't wait to put it on my shelf. Like, am I the only person who feels like that when they get beautiful covers? I like to like have things facing out like um, if you can see right here, I don't know where I'm pointing, um, Scorpio, the Scorpio races. I love the cover. I'm going to do that on my horror shelf. Okay. And I say this every time I get a Nightworms package. I love that they are very book focused. So like most of the items that are in the packages are really just books and like some little trinkets. I don't enjoy a lot of like useless stuff and usually they don't have a whole bunch of useless stuff so let's see what they do have so nice little black paper bag 
Ooh, okay, what's this? Um, I think it's coffee. Yes, it is coffee. And it looks like you like set it up over your cup. Um, and it's the Pioneer Joe Coffee Company, Pacific Northwest trail blazing favorite and it's a french roast so that's super cool i'm gonna need to give that a try i i love this because i drink tea i drink coffee this will absolutely get used very excited for that okay what else is in this little bag okay as always they come in clutch with a really great bookmark i don't know your girl loves some bookmarks i can't I can't get over it. So this is, so the theme for this month is Creep It Real and they printed it on the bookmark. Ooh, looks like we've got some autograph plates for both of the books. This looks like, wow, I, oh, this is the fun hole one and then this is the loop. <laughs> so I'm excited to stick that onto the books. That's cool. And then we've got a sticker, the cipher. Ooh, look at that, do you see that? That's an eyeball. That's a pretty badass sticker, I'm not gonna lie. And then it looks like we've got some book recommendations and just the overall spoiler card. And honestly guys, I think, oh, one more thing. Ooh, we got some stickers. Guys, I love stickers. Okay, uh, this says read more books. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. That's, that's good. Oh my God. Oh my god, look at this pumpkin! And it's a knife! I thought it was a straw. <laughs> Not a straw, it's a knife. And I love that even more. I love these stickers, guys. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know where I'm gonna put them, but they're going somewhere because I wanna look at them all day long. Yes, nightworms. Okay, let's see. That looks like that's it. That's it for the Nightworms book box of the month for October. Guys, I'm really excited about these books. I'm not gonna lie. And I really just love getting Nightworms every month. I will come back with you next month with another unboxing. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It really helps my channel. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you always know when I've got spooky things coming to you. Bye, y'all.